good afternoon. Um, I'm Behnam Khadem, a PhD student uh, from University of Lyon 1. Uh, I'm here to present you my work uh, um, regarding double emulsion, both experimental and uh, uh, modeling. I work in the laboratory of Legeb with Dr. Otman, and we do some collaboration with uh, Dr. Leon in a uh, company of Unilever in uh, UK. Uh, I'm uh, in my second year, and uh, in four or five months, uh, I will move to uh, Unilever to do the rest of my PhD. Uh, so, we work in modeling in life sciences, science industries. Uh, so, who are we? We are mod life. Uh, we are a network receiving funding from uh, European Union, uh, Euro uh, European Union, and uh, so uh, we are uh, big universities and uh, companies in different parts of Europe, uh, like University of Lyon in France and Unilever in uh, UK, and uh, for example, site of Bayer in Germany. Uh, we are 15 PhD students from different parts of the world, gathering together in this network, working in different countries. Uh, for example, I'm from Iran. We have uh, colleagues from uh, Bangladesh, also from Brazil, and different parts of the uh, world. If you go to our uh, website, you can see that every six months we have scientific meetings to exchange our idea and information. And uh, for example, the first one is in London, the second one is in Aachen, in Germany, and the last one is in a uh, site of Bayer uh, in Germany. So let's go back to my work. Uh, I work on double emulsion. If we want to talk about double emulsion, we should start from oil and water. As we know in daily life, oil and water cannot uh, mix together easily. Even if we mix them by spoon and wait for some minutes, we will see that they will be separated. So what should we do to make them separated? We should make interest between them. What can do this interest? It is emulsifier who will make this interest between water and oil, and after mixing, we will have emulsion. Talking about emulsion, I should say that we have two kinds of uh, emulsions, oil in water or water in oil. For the first group, the popular products are ice cream and uh, mayonnaise. For the second group, we can talk about uh, margarine and uh, uh, most kind of creams. Let's take the example of mayonnaise, which is well known and uh, uh, well known for all of us. If we want to make mayonnaise at home, we will take a plate, we will add some lemon juice, which contains water, then we will add some egg yolks, which plays the role of emulsifier. Then we will mix it. At the same time, we will add the droplets of our oil slowly, slowly. So we will make mayonnaise, but this mayonnaise is sad because it has up to 94% of fat. What should we do? We will ask double emulsion to help us. By putting the droplets of water inside the droplets of our oil, we will decrease the amount of our fat in a way that the texture and the properties of our product wouldn't change. Also, we can add some flavors inside that water to add the secondary taste in our product. In this way, we will make low-fat mayonnaise which is very happy, and the fat would be less than 60%. Double emulsions other than food uh, have uh, applications in uh, other industries like cosmetic, for controlling the release of our active agent, like vitamins in the, uh, in the creams. And in pharmacy, again, uh, the similar application, and in agriculture, housekeeping products, and also the, they are used for uh, middle, parts of, uh, middle parts of process in some uh, other chemistry and, uh, and biochemistry 
uh, industries. Let's go back again to my, uh, my PhD. So, I've made my double emulsion. So what is the purpose? The purpose is that we don't want this again. We don't want water and oil to be separated. We are talking about water and oil. Whatever we do, they are thermodynamically unstable. So we should make sure that they would be stable or uh, we should follow their release time. In my PhD, uh, I do both experiments and modeling. In, in my experiments, I found the uh, parameters that play the important role in double emulsions, like oil viscosity, uh, surfactant amount, uh, surfactant is uh, the same emulsifier. Mixing time, salt fraction, inner phase fraction, uh, external phase fraction, these are the important parameters. And I will use these parameters as the properties, hydrodynamic effects and interface phenomena, uh, which I will explain you in the next slide in my modeling part. So what is the objective of doing this in general? I want to be sure about the stability of my product or I want to control the release rate of my product. And during the modeling and experiments, I want to optimize my operation and uh, operation conditions. And finally, I want to develop a general model for process of double emulsion, which will make to predict and uh, follow the stability of the products easier. For doing so, I need one critical parameter, which is droplet size, both for the internal ones and external ones. To find the droplet size, we have modeling, which is a, a chemical engineering part, and we have online monitoring. For the modeling, we developed two big uh, equations, which are population balance equations one for the internal droplets and one for the external droplets. They will consider all the phenomena happening inside uh, during our uh, preparation of double emulsion or the stability time of our double emulsion. Uh, I can just say, for example, breakage of double emulsion during the preparation is when uh, the droplets will break to two or three other droplets and the coalescence is when two droplets will join and they will make one droplet. So all of these phenomena uh, have their own sub equations with all those equations uh, that should be input into, into these two uh, general equations. All of them should be solved at the same time to uh, give us the size and number of our droplets. And also, we do online monitoring to find the size and compare that with our model. For doing so, we use the video probe and uh, we will uh, make a video of our droplets during the preparation and also we can do it also during the uh, stability. We will extract this video to hundreds of uh, photos and by using software, uh, we will uh, find the size of the droplets. Here you can see uh, a summary of uh, making uh, an emulsion, which is very similar to making a double emulsion.
so uh, the other thing to be important in uh, our project is the operating, operating conditions. One of them is the type of our impeller, which will make the double emulsions. If we just take a look at them, for example, for the anchor, uh, anchor impeller, we can see which is the slowest one in making our emulsion. Then we can see the three pitch uh, angle impeller. Yep, it is a bit faster. And uh, after this, uh, the Russian impeller, which is the fastest one for us, can make the emulsion like this. So uh, finally, I want to uh, show you uh, here how I work. Um, and uh, uh, so I will put the microphone. <laughs> so as we see, the uh, top layer is the oil layer, which I put color to make it clear. And uh, the down layer is water plus our emulsifier. So uh, they are uh, separated. If I turn on my reactor, so it is the uh, beginning of creation of double uh, creation of emulsion. For double emulsion, we will redo this another time. Uh, in the external aquas phase. Uh, the point about this is that when we make it in the reactor, we should wait for uh, some time, depends on our material and uh, the uh, agitation rate, to make the stable beginary emulsion. So uh, I just wanted you to see the creation of the droplets. And uh, we, we don't have enough time to wait for creation of the uh, full emulsion. And when we put our probe, we will see exactly this video. So thank you for uh, paying attention and uh, to uh, give me your time.